so I'm gonna go ahead and start a new vlog. It is October. Babe, what's the date? Today is not October. Wow, what does that say about my mental health? Today's December 21st, 2021. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another, start another vlog because yesterday I had to call the crisis line at my therapist recommendation. Um, my therapist, th this is before my appointment with her today, but she thinks I might be having a manic episode or at least starting one. Um, <coughs> yeah, I um, haven't been feeling good. I haven't been feeling good. I've been feeling very antsy. Um, I described it to my friend as feeling hyped up in a bad way. I have been feeling the urge to do something self-destructive or drastic. And I'm gonna have to talk to my therapist about how I'm supposed to deal with that because I have no idea. Usually I just dye my hair, but um, that isn't seeming to help this time. So yeah, I'm not feeling too great. I will keep you updated though. Do an outfit check with me. All right, um, I'm gonna walk around while I do this. So if there's some weird lighting, like just what just happened, if I do this a lot, sorry. Um, if there's some weird audio, I don't care. <laughs> I care a little bit, but um, I'm too tired to care. So first I'm gonna update you on how, no, first I'm gonna update you on my therapy appointment yesterday, because I didn't do an update afterwards like I wanted to. And um, then I'm gonna update you on how I'm feeling right now. So, Ophelia. No, can't clap right now. <laughs> Therapy appointment yesterday. Stop it. You're being a heathen. So, my ring light is still on, I know. Don't comment about that. If you're gonna comment, don't comment about that. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, my therapy appointment yesterday. She definitely thinks it's very possible that I could be going into a manic episode right now, which I also think is possible. Um, one of the reasons for that is I want a tattoo. And like, that's normal. I have a tattoo. Um, but, like, I've gone from passively wanting a tattoo to, like, wanting to research tattoo shops in my local area as if I have the money for a tattoo right now. And it's gotten to the point of how badly I want a tattoo that I want to learn how to do stick and poke. I have always been against stick and poke. I do not, that is, it's not safe. It's not usually good, <laughs> like... I've always been against stick and poke, and now I'm like, well, I want a tattoo that fucking badly, so that to me says probably mania. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm still exploring, I almost said bisexuality, I'm still exploring my bipolar and my BPD and my tendencies and my behaviors and blah 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 only been recently diagnosed. I was, if you don't know, I was diagnosed with BPD early October, and I was diagnosed with bipolar September, or the month before that, I think it's August, I don't remember. Um, it's very new. What's up? So, I don't know if I like this, but I might do this anyway. So, she definitely thinks it's possible, thinks it's possible I'm going into a manic episode. She also thinks that she didn't say you have an eating disorder. But she did say, I think you are entering the eating disorder category, or territory, I mean. So I don't have an eating disorder, but I'm getting there, which isn't good. Um, I definitely would like to work on that before it actually becomes an eating disorder. And you know what's fucked up about my brain? Is... Uh, she... 
She said, oh, you almost have an eating disorder. And my brain went, oh, I'm almost there. Just a little bit more to go. Like, that's not how we're thinking. I, I don't know why that's what my brain does, but it's not healthy. I think it's kind of part of when I was a teenager, I made mental illness part of my identity because like, and I want to clarify, I didn't make it part of my identity because it is part of my identity. That's how it is. But I made it part of my personality. And um, that's a very dangerous thing to do because it makes you not want to recover, as you can clearly see. Because when you make it part of your personality, when you up that, it feels more like an accomplishment, which is not okay. Um, it's not okay for her to say, you almost have an eating disorder, and me to go, oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> like, it's fucked up. It's disrespectful to people who have eating disorders and who are recovering slash have recovered from eating disorders. It's just not okay. It's not respectful to me or anyone else. And I think it came from that as a teenager, making that part of my personality, because sometimes it feels like that's the only way you can cope as a teenager. If you are a teenager and you're watching this, I implore you not to do that, because it's gonna fuck you up for a good... I'm only 20, so I can only reasonably say a good few years after, but I wouldn't be surprised if I deal with this for a while, the repercussions of this. Um, I've already had to confront my um, doing that with like anxiety and depression and some other things like I don't know it almost feels like winning a diagnosis which is like <laughs> on one hand you can use that if like you've been fighting for a diagnosis for a really long time there's nothing wrong with saying oh I won I finally have this diagnosis but when you're just racking up fucking diagnoses like pool ball points and you're like oh I got another one like I'm fucking like you're fishing or something like that's not really how you want to live it's not healthy um it's not healthy to see how many diagnoses you can get. <laughs> like, I guess I'm just rambling at this point, but I did think that that was a fucked up reaction I had that I probably need to talk to her about because I didn't mention it. We were talking about a lot of things in that appointment, which is rare for me. But yeah, so I do want to say be careful about making mental illness a part of your personality. Um, it's not healthy, and it's gonna have major repercussions later in life. It already has repercussions when you're doing it right now, you just don't notice them. So, updating you on how I'm feeling right now, I already did a little bit by saying I want a tattoo. Um, I'm feeling really sad right now. I was going to meet a friend, and I was almost there, and she was like, actually, I got a dip. Which, like, I understand why she had to, but it's still, like, I'm not good with change of plans, especially last minute. Like... She said we were meeting for coffee, so I was like, we're meeting for coffee, and then very suddenly we were no longer meeting for coffee, and I'm like, hello? <laughs> so, I'm not handling that very well, I'm very sad and bored. I still went to the coffee shop because I was almost there, but I was only there for like 30 minutes when I'm usually there for like an hour, an hour and a half. I could only write less than a notebooks page, like... Because I wasn't planning on writing. I was planning on talking to my friend. So I wasn't in the mindset. <sighs> I have some stuff I need to do today. But I also know everyone in my life is telling me, you're overworking yourself. You need to give yourself a break. So part of me is like, just do what you absolutely need to do today. Edit your videos. And then take the day off. But then I'm like, that's ridiculous. I don't need the whole day off. I can be doing stuff. But then it's like, okay, but everyone's telling you you're overworking yourself. So just take a break. Like, if you feel like you need a break, it's probably because you need a break. But then I'm like, I need to work. So I still don't know how to balance that. My therapist and I were talking about it where I really need to learn how to balance working and resting because I clearly don't do that well. I told her how I'm only, I'm all extremes where I will either work myself to death or I will not work at all for like two weeks. And she's like, that probably happens because you work yourself to death. So when you do finally let yourself rest, you overdo it. And then you feel guilty, so you overcompensate by working yourself to death. And then you overcompensate by resting too much. And it's like, she had a point there. <laughs> you got me there, you know what I mean? Like, so I feel like 
because of that, if I feel like I need to take a break today, I should. But I also have this internalized fear of being lazy because of my stepdad and because um, everyone else in my life. Um, it is, in my life, it has been not only a downright evil thing to be lazy, but it's also very easy to be lazy. If your room is messy, you're lazy. If you didn't do the dishes today, you're lazy. Like, you're taking a five minute break, you're being lazy. Like, it's just so strange. So I feel like what I'm probably going to end up doing is editing my videos and then taking the day off. And then I will probably spend at least half of tomorrow. My ukulele is supposed to get here tomorrow. So I'll probably spend at least half of that learning how to play the ukulele and working on my songwriting. Which is, I want to say half productive, half fun. So I'll spend the other bit of that working on writing stuff. Thursday, I think, is Thursday a drafting day? Let me check my schedule. I also need to redo my schedule again, because my therapist talked about it. Yeah, Thursday is a writing day, which those I can usually, I can sacrifice, so. I'll, I'll make Thursday a catch-up day, Thursday and Friday to be catch-up days. Yeah. Anyway, that is day two on am I going into a manic episode or not? Answer, probably. See you next time. Hello. So, I had to call the crisis line earlier. Um, I'm exhausted. I had the biggest, like, flare-up. I just, everything felt so strongly all at once, and I could not hold it all in in my body. I was screaming, I was like stomping my foot to avoid like breaking something. Like, it didn't feel good. Um, I'm exhausted from it. Proves my point. <laughs> Dude, the mood things with BBD are just fucking killer. Like, I am exhausted. And I want to confirm that I didn't have to call the crisis line for, like, suicidal ideation or anything like that. I'm good on that front for now. But, um, I did have to call them just to calm me down because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Um, yeah. Still not 100% certain if this is a manic episode, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was. I guess I'm trying to use the word carefully. So yeah, I'll see you in the next update. Okay, I know this isn't mental health related, but my ukulele just fucking got here. And I'm so fucking excited. Looking for a box cutter. It got here like three days earlier than expected. Where did Eros put the box cutter? Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I have no idea where it is, so I'm just gonna use scissors. accessories and stuff like I'm pretty sure there's an extra set of strings in here and stuff
the camera on me doesn't ruin the progress I've made. This might be embarrassing, but it's my first song ever. I'm sure it made it super simple. Let's see if I can do it, even with the camera going. Swing, 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 get me out of here. Swing, 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 this is getting close right here. Swing, 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 want to break everything I hold here. Get me out of here. chords or, or the strumming pattern is so hard and I made it the simplest one I could it used to be really complicated fucking rusty um i made a lot of mistakes um my singing was not on point for the entire time but singing and strumming at the same time is so fucking hard i've literally spent all day trying to figure out how to do it i had to lower my strumming pattern to the least complicated thing that i think still sounds nice like this is ridiculously hard but there's my progress from day one i'm still probably gonna play it because i'm having fun but there's the song I wrote, and I might do it again when I'm more talented. <laughs> so, it's been about a good four days since I recorded anything for this. I honestly just forgot. Um, things have been mostly okay. I have moments of depression every now and then, but um, that's to be expected. I have depression. <laughs> um, 
I'm feeling pretty neutral right now. I'm trying to work on a fanfic. Um, it's the day after Christmas. We're just kind of relaxing like we did yesterday before Eros has to go back to work. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update to let you know that I'm doing okay. I haven't had to call the crisis line again, so let's hope that lasts. So, I'm about to call the crisis line, um, try to get a hold of my psychiatrist. It's been a really hard day. <laughs> um, my mood swings have been really bad. I know I've been taking my medication because Eros and I take them together every morning, but it feels like I'm off my meds, like that's how bad it's been. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to be brief because I know I'm going to have to explain this all to the crisis line person. I don't want to get too tired, but basically I feel bad. <laughs> and um, I'm going to call the crisis line. So, yeah. So, I decided to do another little update. Just because talking to the camera kind of helps a little bit. Um, I called the crisis line yesterday, and they said that the on-call was going to give me a call back, and they never did. Love that. Um, I'm still waiting for that call. I might call again, actually. Um, you know, let me do that. Let me call again. All right. Um, just got off the phone with my counseling center. Um, they couldn't do anything for my meds, so I'm kind of stuck in this swinging every few minutes thing. Um for probably a good little bit. Um, we made a safety plan. Um, they agreed that um, inpatient hospitalization isn't the best for me, which is a huge relief. Because um, my girlfriend and I were talking about me maybe going back to Harsha, and I didn't, I don't want to go at all, so... It's good that I have someone backing me up. Um, I was talking with my girlfriend and our friend last night, and I'm probably going to do an outpatient thing where you um, you go for the day, and then you come home at the end of the day, and you do that every day for a little bit, and it's like, I assume it's like car show, where it's like group therapy and stuff like that. I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. Um, yeah. It's gotten to the point where I want to do stuff, but I'm so exhausted from the mood swings that all I can do is just sit here and listen to music. And it's like... I don't know. My girlfriend is right. I literally can't function right now with the mood swings. so don't mind my hair I just want to wrap up this vlog it is January 10th um, two three days on my new dosage of my medication my psychiatrist and I agreed that um, my mood stabilizers probably stopped working and we needed a higher dose so um, we did a 30% increase I'm Feeling a little bit better. I'm trying to slowly ease myself back into doing work. I'm trying to be very careful about that um, because I have a tendency to overwork myself to death. Um, so I'm being very careful with what I do. I wrote a little bit today. I've been painting a lot, um, but painting is so much fun. Um, I did the litter boxes. I want to try to do the dishes today, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I've, got, I've gotten a little bit of work done. Um, I want to say I'm feeling a little bit better, but I don't know if I am. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, I 
it got a little heavy towards the end there. I was rewatching some of the clips and um I guess I just wanted to say I'm okay. <laughs> um you know, BPD it gets really 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 hard sometimes, but I'm all right and you know, I'm working through it. So, yeah. Um that's it. I will see you next time. Stay proud.